everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna be using the angle relationships in one of my previous lessons to actually solve a problem. So if you need a little bit of a refresher um, on the different types of angle relationships, I will link that video here. Um, but otherwise, let's jump in. So for this problem, I have line L and I have line M. And we are gonna assume, or we're gonna be given that line L is parallel to line M, okay? And um, we are going to be using our angle relationships to set up, basically just set up equations and solve for the missing variables. So we need to solve for X, Y, and Z. We have three variables, which means we need to set up three different equations using our angle relationships. So the first one that kind of jumps out at me looking at this diagram is I have a pair of vertical angles. Um, so what, uh, what we need to do is state the theorem we use before we write the equation. So my first equation is going to come from the theorem that vertical angles, and this is how I abbreviate it, um, are equal. Vertical angles, therefore, equal. Um, and so that means this angle is equal in measure to this one. So negative x plus 185 is going to equal 2x plus 5. So um, 2x plus 5 equals um, negative x plus 185. I'm going to solve this in black just because it's a little easier for you to see on camera. Okay, so now I need to solve this thing for x. So I'm going to add x to both sides. I end up with 3x plus 5 is equal to um, 185. I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. I end up with 3x is equal to 180. Divide both sides by 3 x equals 60. So um, step one, identify your theorem that you're using. Step two, set up your equation. And then step three, solve. Okay, so the next thing that I'm looking at is I see this 2x plus 5 and this z plus 20, these angles right here. Those angles are actually um, uh, supplementary. They form a line. In other words, they're going to add up to 180 degrees. So I'm going to use that fact to set up my next equation. So I have this angle right here, okay, and this one right here. Sorry, I'm making it so big. Um, I just don't want to write over the actual variables we have going on. So uh, my second equation, we're going to use the fact that um, supplementary angles, so we can say Supplementary angles, SA, um, add up to 180 degrees. So that means that Z plus 20 plus 2X plus 5 equals 180 degrees. Okay, so let's clean this up. We'll combine some like terms. I have a Z. Oh, and I'm going to do this in black so you can see it better. So I have z plus 2x. I can't combine those because they're not like terms. But I can add the 20 and the 5 together. So plus 25 equals 180 degrees. Now, the nice thing is I do already know what x equals. x equals 60, so I can just plug 60 in for x here. So then I have z plus 2 times 60 plus 25 equals 180 degrees. 2 times 60 is 120, so I have z plus 120 plus 25 equals 180 degrees. 120 plus um, 25 is 145, so I have z plus 145 is equal to 180 degrees. I can subtract 145 from both sides. And then let's see, I have z is equal to, okay, so I have 180, um, subtract 145, so it looks like I have 35 for z. Okay. okay, 
Okay, the last variable we need to solve for, just looking at our diagram here, oh, actually, we have a y, too. Um, so let's actually do y next. So we need four equations. I was misspoken on that. So we need four equations because I didn't see that y up there. Um, so I'm going to actually solve for y now. Um, I'm going to do this over here. So number three, um, I need to solve for y. What I have here is some um, corresponding angles. Okay, they're both on top of line L and N, and they're on the same side of the transversal. So when the lines are parallel, we know that corresponding angles are equal. So um, for our equation, Y is going to equal 2X plus 5. Now, the nice thing is we have already solved for X. So we have Y is equal to 2 times 60 is our X plus 5. So y equals 2 times 60 is 120 plus 5 is 125. All right, now we are at our last variable, which is w. So let's see. Let's use what color have I not used? Blue, it looks like. Um, so number four, sorry, these are all out of order. Um, I might, no, I'll leave those there. I think I have enough room. Okay, so now it looks like I have a triangle here. So uh, we could use the theorem that triangle, um, the sum of the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And I might actually run out of room here. Well, let's see. Okay. So that means this angle plus that angle plus that angle is going to equal 180 degrees. So I have W plus 5 plus 4W. Now put these in parentheses um, because you don't want to mix up your negatives when you're solving. Let me just rewrite that a little nicer for you. W plus 5 um, plus 4W minus 5 plus z plus 20 um, is going to equal, see I did run out of room, so um, if you need those still, um, go ahead and rewind, pause, um, and you can still get those, but it looks like I do need to erase at least this one so that I have some room. Okay, sorry about that, I thought I could make it fit. Um, so equals 180. That's using our triangle sum theorem. Okay, so let's combine some like terms and clean things up a little bit. So we have w plus 5 plus 4w minus 5. So remember, um, you kind of have to distribute this, so it's still going to be a minus 5. Just um, be careful with that. Sometimes when you're subtracting here, a lot of students forget to distribute the negative. Um, so I have w plus 4w. So that's 5w. Oh, and let's, once again, let's switch to black just because on camera it shows up a little bit better so you can see all my solving steps. So 5w plus, okay, so I have a plus 5 and a minus 5. That's going to be 0, right? And then I have plus 20 plus z equals 180 degrees. Well, we also did already solve for z. I believe it was 35, so I can plug that in. So I have 5w plus 20 plus 35 is going to equal 180. So 20 plus 35 is 55. So I'll have 5w plus 55 is equal to 180. We're going to subtract 55 from both sides. Okay. So then I have 5w is equal to 125. Okay. I'm going to move this up here just so you can see that. So 5w equals 125. Okay, divide both sides by 5. w equals, um, let's see, we have uh, 5 times 20 is 100. 5 times 5 is 25. So we have um, 25. Okay, and using our angle relationships, we were able to solve for all variables in this diagram. So just remember the key points here. Step one is you always tell your reader what theorem you're using. Step two is you come up with your equation. 
And then step three is solve. Now, you have to make sure that you answer the question that's being asked of you because sometimes they don't really care about what the variable equals, but they might want to know what the full angle equals. So then you'd have to plug back in whatever you got for x, for example, to find the measure of this angle. Um, so just be careful on problems that might ask you to do that at the end. Okay, and that's all for today.